writing. You're doing the show with Steve Martin. Do you guys write it? Do you hire writers? How does this come about? We, we will be assisted by joke writers, or, but we write it, we construct it, and most of the writing. I would say Steve is the real writer, and I'm someone who writes under duress. I mean, I would never be... I wrote an, uh, I wrote an autobiography because I got a lucrative deal with Harper Collins. But if they had said, no, we, uh, write the book first and show it to us, I would never have written a book. So, um, so when you write... But you Steve would have wrote his book, his autobiography, Born Standing Up, on spec. Because he didn't want be the pressure of a deal. And when do you write? Is it like, make it up as you go along? Or you mean actually write, write, write? No, I would even in the SCTV days, I would always like to write with one person or two. I'd have tape recorders all over the place. I'd get up and improvise, right. improvise, improvise, improvise. So, and then you spend half the time trying to find that line I said so that that's the way we want to phrase it. Um, you know, there are always, always these tricks. In SCTV, when we would, if someone said, Kay Marty, can you do Gore Vidal? Because we have, the writers would have written a piece, you know, Gore Vidal and Norman Mailer get into a fight at a cocktail party, and then that becomes a Tide commercial because he throws wine on Gore's shirt, and now they've <laughs> got to wash it. And it's really a Tide commercial. And I'd say, sure, yeah, I can do Gore Vidal, having no idea how to do Gore, Gore Vidal. So then I would get uh, the uh, research department send me all these tapes, and I'd look at Gore Vidal. But what I used to do, there'd be a script, let's say that someone had written the script. But what I'd do is I'd then tape record an interview with Gore Vidal, and then I'd transcribe it. And if you do that, what you see is that everyone has a speech pattern. So if Gore Vidal was saying, you know, I walked in and uh, is that thing, well maybe you go, uh, it's that thing, and you put that into the script. Right. And so, so that was, that's a form of writing. Or I would just create things uh, uh, out of someone I'd met, and then we'd build a scene around them. Or a notion. I remember I had to play this character in SCTV, uh, Rusty Van Raddick. And the premise was that Rusty had been a child star. But the series, Oh, That Rusty, had been on for 37 years. And as he grew up, they fired the original cast and got tall, tall actors and made the set bigger to keep him eight. But now his voice was like that. Part of it was tied to how Lucille Ball's voice aged. So I'd take that concept, put it over there, a little bit of, um, you know. And do you have like an editor? Or you see, when you have a right, when you, you and Steve, you sketch it out, you have ideas. No, and Steve and I are the bosses of that. Right. And, but uh, does an editor afterwards going, oh, we can't say the word, you better. No, 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 not in our stage show. There's certainly an editor in when you write a book. Right. 